So here is what you get when you buy the Raycon Fitness earbuds. First off, you of course get two earbuds that come in a nice small case that does recharge the earbuds as well. I believe you get up to about nine hours of use with another 45 hours if you do it charging with the case from a full charge. So that allows up to 54 hours if again you have the charged earbuds and charged case before you have to charge everything from scratch. Now the Raycon earbuds are IPX7 water resistance rated. I don't know what that really means, but I know that it can withstand sweat and just general water use. You can't like just dump them in like a bucket or something like that, but they'll hold up to most of your everyday needs. You also get five additional gel tips as well as what they call stabilizers. I just kept what was on the thing, but if you wanna try some others out, maybe the ones they come with don't fit your ears very well, they do have a couple others you can choose from. Now in terms of different sound profiles and things of that nature, it does come with three that you can choose from, but there is no like app or something you can change them manually or set up like custom um, profiles for yourself. So just know that it does come like pretty just standard with what's on this device. And for me, that's perfectly fine. But if you want something like crazy customizations, this probably isn't for you. And with that, let's take a look at my pros and cons list for the Raycon Fitness earbuds. First off, these are the most comfortable earbuds I've worn today. I have tried a few in the past, again, including the Jaybird Vistas, but these are the only ones I've been able to wear more than 15 minutes without actually hurting my ears. And I did wear them on a four hour flight without taking them off at all. And so I have to give these for myself, the best rating in terms of comfort that I've personally tried so far. Next pro is the sound. And again, I'm not some audio expert. I can't hear every single little detail between two different devices, unless I have them like side by side, maybe I could tell. But for me, as long as it sounds good, there's no like crackling and stuff like that. And like the audio is decent. Maybe the um, speech or mic on it is good as well. I am perfectly fine with that. And these sound great to me when using them. Uh, the voice sounds good as well. They work Bluetooth and I can make calls and stuff with them. So again, it checks all my boxes, but if you want something that's like really premium, maybe you look elsewhere. But for me, I think these are great overall. When it comes to setting these up, they worked flawlessly. I set them up in just a couple of minutes and you can easily even like just switch between devices. So what I like to do is bring out my phone, maybe turn off the Bluetooth and connect to something else because they go into pairing mode as soon as the device is disconnected for a second or so. So it just finds the next device that has Bluetooth activated to connect to. For me, again, very easy to switch between devices. Again, on my flight, I went from using my phone to my Nintendo Switch as I wanted to play some Zelda on the flight. So it was very, very easy to me out. 30 seconds to make the switch and I was good to go. My next pro is it has a good range. So I did wear these when doing some mowing the other day. I could just kind of like leave my phone in the garage if I wanted to and I can just walk around um, and do the mowing as needed. Never drop a connection. I have to go from like one entire side of my house all the way to the other if I want to actually have that connection drop. So for me, it works perfectly fine. And what I really like about this device is the case. Nice, small, compact. It's also uh, magnetized to just have the earbuds nice little snap in. Really satisfying. Most earbuds do that, I believe, most of the cases do. But overall, nice, compact, and exactly what I'm looking for in a earbud case. And for me, the first con has to be the price. It comes with only three sound profiles and you can't really make any other custom changes. Again, doesn't really matter for me, but if I want to pay something like $120, I paid $119.99 before Texas taxes. That seems like a lot for these in terms of what they are. Again, these work perfectly for me and have filled a void of earbuds for my workouts, which I find is great and valuable to me, but if that's not for you, I'm not sure I'd pay the $120 otherwise. And my second con is the controls for the earbuds. Now I can seem to get into awareness mode very easily by just holding my finger on the right one for like a second or so, um, and then coming out of it, but everything else, like changing songs, pausing, stuff like that, seems to be very hit or miss for me. So I don't really use the controls all that much. I've not been someone who's used them in general anyway, but just know if you're someone who like tapping your ears all the time, trying to make things change, you might wanna make sure you check out some videos first on what they are and make sure you're doing it well, because for me, it's just been kind of like hit or miss if they work or not. So if you couldn't tell, I actually really, really love these earbuds and I'm glad I bought them. They have worked perfectly for me so far. I actually don't plan on buying any others really to test unless I really have to. So for me, they have been great. I'm gonna continue using them for my workouts and just general use around the house as well. Before this, I was using these status over ear headphones and they were great. The one problem I had with them is one, they mat down the middle of my hair, which is just a problem I have with all my overhead headphones. And then the next one, was that they would actually slip off during my workout. So if I was laying on the ground, or if I was laying flat on a bench, I'm um, looking up, 
they would slide down my ears over time. So not maybe right away, but what I had to do is I'd actually twist the band that went over my head up over my forehead in this case so it wouldn't just fall down off my head when doing things like chest press or skull crushers or something similar to that nature where I was looking straight up towards the ceiling while laying down. But in all, I've really, really loved these Raycon earbuds. So if they are something of your fancy, you wanna check them out, I highly recommend that you take a look at them, do your research before buying, but for me, I would definitely, definitely buy these again.